Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of What's Your Game Plan? Today I'm going to give you a quick start guide on how to start a baby store online. <laughs> I'm not sure if you knew this, but the baby industry is bringing in $85 billion a year. And since so many people are having babies and have babies, this is a huge money maker for you. If you're looking to start your own baby store, but you just don't know how, then you've come to the right place. Here's how to get started. So there are two methods to start this kind of business. You can set it up as a dropship store where someone else is responsible for shipping the goods to your customer, or you can buy, store, and ship out your own baby products by yourself. Once you choose a method, you can now proceed to step one. If you have no idea how an e-commerce business operates, or maybe you're just a first time business owner, I recommend downloading a business plan from bplans.com. Their plans outline exactly how the business is supposed to work and what you should expect. And at the bottom of this video, you can actually buy the baby shop business plan template plus the vendor list. So you'll know exactly where to get your inventory from. So whether you choose the dropship method or to buy your own inventory, the supplier research process is still exactly the same. If you want to get started right away and you don't have a lot of money to buy inventory, you'll want to head over to Google and type in these secret words, drop ship baby products. This will give you access to thousands of products to sell in your online store right away without actually needing to buy any of them. If you do have some money and you want to manage your own inventory and keep baby products in your own warehouse to ship out, just Google these words. Wholesale baby items. As you can see, the listings have totally changed and from here you can find a company to buy in bulk from. Now, once you've got all of that sorted, it's time to officially register your business. You won't be able to buy wholesale baby items or even work with a dropship supplier until you complete this step. You'll need to register and apply for a federal EIN number and form an LLC or a corporation. And depending on what state you're in, you'll also likely need a reseller or what we call a retail merchant certificate as well. This is going to allow you to buy products tax free. I recommend using my corporation as they do have a wide variety of packages to choose from, but go ahead and get their most basic package because that one's going to get you started right away. So after you've chosen a name for your baby shop and you've officially registered your business, you can now open a business bank account. And it's pretty easy to open, but they won't get you set up without having that legal incorporation paperwork and the EIN number that I just spoke about. You can work with a local bank that you're already using or just choose a new one. Branding is one of the most important parts of creating a baby shop because it's your brand's identity that actually leaves a really big impression on all of your new customers. I recommend using 99designs because their process is quick, painless, and you'll actually get designs that you want. And for marketing materials, I really like Envato because they literally have tons of graphics for each and every single kind of business on demand. Baby shops will usually need to start with a logo, website, email marketing, banners, and some social media graphics. 99designs has what they call the brand identity pack that will also get you started right away. So the next step is to buy web hosting. I always recommend choosing Bluehost because they are the most reliable for e-commerce websites and you can check if your new website name is available for free. And with their packages, they're giving you bonuses. They're giving a free domain, a free SSL, advertising credits, and access to 24-7 tech support. So you really can't beat it. Once you pay for the plan with Bluehost, 
get your login credentials. You'll want to save that information and deliver it to the web designer in the next step. If you don't know about a company named Fiverr, they sell affordable web development and marketing services that get done really, really quick. All you do is type in what you want in the search bar and it will reveal tons of people who are willing to help you get your website set up in less than three days. Once you choose the person that you want to work with, go ahead and give them the Bluehost details and communicate your vision and your plans for the new website. So while they're working on your new website, you're going to need to activate what we call a merchant account for your customers to pay you through. It's time to get paid. Many businesses are using PayPal, Square, or Stripe. I personally like Square because they make it super easy for me to accept payments online, via my website, on email, or you can even accept payments over the phone. The account with Square is free, so once you sign up, Give these details to the web designer to complete the integration process. Okay, so now that you're all set up, how will you actually make money? Here's what you'll need to know in order to take a check to the bank. Congratulations on owning a baby store. I know that you're gonna do just great. And if at any point in this process you start having doubts, please reach out to me. I'm happy to help at any time. So at this point, you can choose from a variety of items to sell. Right now, the most popular items are car seats, diapers, cleaning products, care products, pacifiers and bottles, blankets, and teething rings. Don't forget, you can also sell baby footwear, baby clothing, potty training tools, books. All of these items are very profitable and are big money makers. And to bring in some extra cash, you can start selling baby subscription boxes for new parents, baby stroller cleaning services, baby car seat repair services, even custom baby gear. Anyone who has a baby will eventually need to buy these services, so why not buy them from your business? Now, I know what you're probably wondering, what's the price tag on this baby? If you're launching online using the dropship method, startup costs for this kind of business are usually pretty low anywhere from around $500 to $1,500 on average. But if you're planning to fund your own inventory, you're gonna need a large warehouse to store all the baby products and maybe even need to hire a couple employees. So be prepared to drop the big bucks. I know a lot of people have dreamed of owning their own businesses and working for themselves, but they just don't know how to get started. So I hope today this video encourages you to make a change and finally chase your dreams. I've given you everything you need to get started. So get started. <laughs> Below this video are the links to the companies that I've mentioned. I'm also giving away my new marketing strategy book series. If you want it, just go to my website, enter in your email address, and I'll send it to you right away. If you like this video or you know someone who needs to see this today, go ahead and tag a friend, hit like, drop me a comment, and give it a share. And until next time, guys, take care.